Hey makers, this is Jana with Mockies. Today I'm going to show you a new exciting feature from Cricut Design Space version 6.6. .6. I'm going to show you how to do the offset using just Cricut Design Space. So with this feature, I want to let you know it's currently in beta and currently works only on your computer. I'm going to link to a page so you can see exactly which computers, which, which versions it works with. And currently, like I said, it's in beta, so it's not working for mobile devices. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for more helpful tutorials for making cake toppers. Also, be sure to get your freebies from the link below. Okay, well, let's get started. So here we are in Cricut Design Space. I already went ahead and uploaded one of my pre-designed happy birthday cake toppers, and I'm going to link to it below so you can download it if you like it also. So with the offset feature, you're going to have to find it on the top menu right here. Right Currently, it is grayed out because I have nothing selected. Once I go ahead and click on my design, you're going to see the offset feature light up and there's a drop down menu go ahead and click it so as i mentioned currently it's in beta you see right here it says beta so there might be some things that are not working out and so we want to go ahead and try what we can work with it it's very simple to use there is this bar that you can drag to see your offset currently it's set my computer is 0 0.025 inches and you can see exactly how that will look as in the preview. The difference right here on the corner selected, either a smooth corner or a more angular, so pointy corner. What means is if I change from smooth to more pointy, in this current design it's hard to see but you can see right here more of this angular. So if I move my bar, you can see there are more sharp corners. I want to keep everything smooth, so I'm going to put the round corner. As you can see, the outer edge has changed to more smoother design, and that's what I like more. But it's way too thick as a offset or a background layer in this case. I'm going to make it smaller. or you can actually even type it in. So let's do 0 0.125 and as you can see it's closer in. So hit apply when you like the way it looks and you're gonna see it created a second layer for your background layer. You can change the color so if you go on the top you can change the color to whatever you like. You can make it gold and the other thing I want to show you is you see these little spaces that it creates you can hit that background layer and you go to your counter and you can either hide all counters or you can choose which ones to keep um, keep open or keep closed. So I'm gonna hide all and I'm gonna then select the stars because I want to show the stars in this design and then exit out. So for this part I am completely done. If you want to add another layer it's very simple. Basically you have to select your layer, the offset layer currently set in yellow and again click on offset and it's going to show you one more time how far you want it. You can choose to keep it the same or you can change how wide you want the offset to be and hit apply again and you can either keep the color or change the color I think for this particular one it's working pretty well so this is one way of creating your offset for your already pre-designed images now let me show you how to create an offset with text so go ahead and select the type tool so the text tool and you can type any name that you like for example well, let's try the name Russell. Okay, so now you have your text selected. 
and again make sure you have it selected and hit offset and it's going to show you the offset that we had last so we had 0.125 you could either keep it the same way or you can change it I want to keep it the same so right here for the text it says weld offsets what this means is currently your top layer in black you just typed it and it's gonna say, stay like that but the offset meaning the background layer it's saying check this to weld the background layer or if you uncheck it it's gonna be individual letters I don't know if you can see when I unchecked it you can see the strokes of the offset it creates individual letters that way it gives you flexibility to move the letters if you want to move them. I'm going to go ahead and hit the check mark. So you see now they're all together and I'm going to hit apply. So now I have this background layer right here which is currently gray but I'm going to go ahead and make it yellow to match our design. And also, I want to remove these little spaces that it created. So I'm going to, again, select that layer and hit counter. So I'm going to click on the spaces that I want to get removed. And hit the X. So now we have the name all together and we have our offset if you want to stay together with the the one we have above we want to make another offset so again we're going to check I'm going to take the current yellow one and I'm going to do an offset on top of that so again I'm going to choose and show me how it's going to look and I'm going to click apply because I like the results and since I had black set before, it keeps the black. So I like the way it looks. I'm going to go ahead and select it all. Just the text because I'm going to move the text. Let's group it so it's easier to move. And I'm going to bring it closer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the background layer for the, the name, which is currently black and I'm gonna hold the shift and select the background layer for the happy birthday and now I'm gonna hit weld again so now we have this big massive layer but it created these spaces so go ahead and hit select the layer on the weld results and click counter and we want to get rid of this big space gap so hide all counters and hit X and now to see what we've created you want to put this layer to the back so on the top menu here click arrange and send to back now we have our black layer holding both the name and the happy birthday sign and I'm just noticing that the two black colors that I have here are different so I can choose this layer and go to my colors and choose the same black from the materials colors used to match it. Now we have the cake topper complete. It's easy now to just click make it and cut it all out and assemble it all together. This is how you create an offset with Cricut Design Space not using any other external programs so simple finally with this update it's exciting to all the possibilities that we can create now if you have any questions ask those in the comments below and i'll be sure to respond as soon as i can okay talk to you soon bye bye